What's up guys, it's iWinning back with another video and today I want to show you guys a money play that I run out of Gun Trips tied in out of the Houston Texans playbook. The play we're going to be going over is going to be PA Crossers versus Cover 3. If you guys want to see more of these videos, please get me over 100 likes on this video and I'll continue to try and pump these out as much as I do the defensive tips. These are a little bit longer videos so they bear with me on this video because like I said, I'm not an expert on offensive tips on YouTube yet so this might be a lengthy video so we're gonna go over cover three so I'm gonna try and keep it as short as possible but we're gonna show you cover three flipped and regular cover three so what we're gonna do make sure our defense is baseline and cloud flats <clears throat> so what we're gonna do to set this play up is we're gonna fade cooks out route Edelman and I'm either gonna f I'll do one of three things with Gronk I'll I'll block him I guess four things block him Slant him, drag him, in route him. So one of those three things for this first setup. This is the first setup that I'm going to go over with you guys. The next setup is going to open up triangle more. This is more of a one play touchdown for you guys. You know, and you can block the tight end if you don't. If your opponent's sending a lot of heat at you, like a crossfire blitz or whatever. So, so when they run, when they're defense like that. We're gonna basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this receiver, and you, you if you look at him now you can see that you can motion him left or to the right. I personally motion him left because I feel like I can snap it faster when I motion him left. Because all he does is go right though. I don't know why it's like that, but um, so what you're gonna do we're gonna motion him and hike it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand in the pocket and we're gonna throw it to the sideline once we see, which I'm gonna show you guys in a replay. The reason why I like this post route over the middle on a motion is because it's going to give the, the fade a little bit more time to get down the field but also what's going to happen if you look at the safety is that when he, we go down the field when he crosses over the the linebacker when this guy crosses over the linebacker you can see that the the free safety right now before he crosses over he's looking at the slot receiver going on the fade right but when he crosses into his zone because he has to account for that zone he looks to the right you see how he cuts to the right and at that point when i see that i throw the ball see how i'm about to throw the ball and as i see him cut as see as i see him cut i throw the ball down the field and it grows built in the touchdown so you know we'll run it a few times for you guys for again so the setup is the fade him out route square and you can put Gronkowski on a slant, drag, whatnot, whatever you want to do. Um, make sure they're in cloud flats. And then, so I just sit on this slot receiver and I motion them left, hike the ball, and then I'll wait, and then throw it to the sidelines with a bullet pass or a lob. You guys can blab it and just figure out which way you like to throw it. So, um, it works at different times. So, uh, Again, you can max protect and uh, do the same thing. You're not going to have an option, but you're going to have more time. But you're just going to wait for him to hit the hit the zone, pass lead it out, and we have a touchdown to Brandon Cooks just about every time. Now, I'm going to show you guys something that I do sometimes when my opponent is definitely sending coverage, they're not sending blitzes at me, and it's going to open up triangle as a route and also still have the one play touchdown. So I'll put uh, Gronkowski on an out route, same thing as square, and I'll smart route it usually, and I'll motion him to the sideline. Now I'll do one of two things with him. I'll do the out route with him, or I guess three. Baby out route, smart route, and out route, or I'll put him on a curl, four things, <laughs> curl or a comeback route. So basically any of those routes, if you put him on out route, he's going to bounce off the sideline for you. You know, if you put him on a comeback route, if he doesn't have a hard flat or a cloud flat over there, you can hit the you can hit the comeback route. But what the comeback route is going to do, or the out route or the curl, whatever you put him on, as long as you don't put him on an in route or a slant or a drag going inside, as long as you put him on an outside route to the sideline, what's going to happen, we're going to show you, we can't motion triangle anymore, but what it's going to do is going to open triangle over for a possession catch over the middle. So you'll be able to hit him with two plays. Instead of the one play touchdown, you can hit him with the with the, either the post play or the one play touchdown. We can hit both of them still. You'll just have to have time in the pocket. We'll put him on an out route this time. You'll just have to wait and then pass lead it to the sideline. It's going to be more of a, oh crap, it was a bad throw right there, but uh, we'll run it again. 
make sure we see it upside down. All right, so out route, smart route them, put them out. But you can hit triangle or circle. So you'll hike the ball. Hopefully we don't get shedded. If you wait a second and then pass lead it outside, you can hit the one play touchdown still. You know, we got tackled there, but that's a big gain. That's a big gain. So basically you can do the regular setup with the slant or the drag or the in route over here, or you can motion them out, put them on an out route, and you have another option, another big gain over the middle uh, to triangle. Because basically the linebacker won't follow him. They're not running cover. If they're running cover two, I'm gonna do a different setup in a video, but that's open all day. And so is the one play touchdown basically. So you just have to pick your poison when they when you're playing them. You have a couple setups I gave you guys to tinker with. But I don't want to make the, the video much longer. So if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you like it. Like this play. Um, this is just what I run sometimes when I run trips tight end. Um, there's lots of variations of this play online. Um, most people run PA sh uh, shop shot wheel out of the Broncos, Chargers, or the Patriots, but I run Texans so I can run tight slots with toss, so, um, again, so like you'll run the play, you just wait and wait and wait, and then just, like I said, you can lob it, lob works on this play too, because the, uh, the safety has to choose, so we'll show you the, where the safety has to choose, well, I guess we can't see it yet, but <clears throat> we're going to end the video on this. So it just we're just manipulating this free safety. He's got. It he, he, doesn't matter if they got 91 zone or, or lower. It doesn't matter because they're still gonna have to pick and choose. You see him turn his hips to, towards him, but I'm about to throw it. You see he's over the middle. That's open. I could throw triangle, but I want to throw the touchdown. One, you know, one play touchdown. So you, you know, you have two two deadly options on this play. And like I said, if you have time, these dudes eventually will. Like I said, like I, I'm gonna show you right now. <clears throat> if you have time, he's gonna go to the sideline and stop. And he was going to run over him. If you know now, usually if the, if they guard, if they guard either of those routes, what what he's doing is going to be wide open in this space over here, and no user is going to be here. This guy would be his user, and he probably would peel off to this guy, and so he would bounce off the sideline, and you can get 15, 20 yards just off that out route. So really, you have more options on the field, but you have two big gains on the field, and as you see, they're just going to be open. Like you can hit triangle. I'm gonna hit triangle one more time for you guys just to see you have another option. But fade route, out route, put him on out route. This is versus cover three. So, I mean, cover four, you can hit the one play touchdown too, but we're going to go over that in another video. So, as you see, we'll run the play again. We're going to get shedded. We'll run it one more time, I guess. So, <clears throat> practice mode sheds are crazy, but make sure the cow flats and everything's good here. So, And if you have conductor, you can do your adjustments right up the first, right when you get to the huddle, you're done. Do two right up, two before you get to the huddle, and two when you get to the huddle, and motion him and hike it, and you're good. And be, you know, so like I said, you can hit triangle, just hold it, possession catch. Potentially, if you put him on a comeback route, if if the corner doesn't have that good a zone, you can hit him for one play touchdown. Probably not going to work, because you'd want to be on the opposite hash mark. But let's say they uh, you motion the tight end out. And you put him on a comeback route. It's gonna hold the for the. It's gonna hold this uh, cornerback more to the left. And uh, we'll hike the ball. But um, we. He's gonna get there. But you can possession, you get an aggressive catch. Usually I'll get an aggressive catch like that with Randy, but uh, it's more of a deadly throw. So I would mainly stick to the other row throws, but bullet pass it over the middle when you when you can, uh, because you're gonna get like 25 yards, you know, 30, 30 yards when you do that, because that's that's better than, uh, that's better than getting nothing, getting sacked, you know, so you have another option over the middle versus the cover three. So we'll run it like this one more time and we'll call it a video. As you see, <clears throat> triangles open over the middle. I could throw it to, square on a bullet pass we got touchdowns all day guys but am i winning guys if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up on it and i will see you guys in the next one comment below if you want to interact with me or anything else so but have a good night guys i'll see you tomorrow